rifle. Criminals just as equipped and even outgunning law enforcement. The phenomenon has been increasingly common for law enforcement across the country and here at home. But experts say law enforcement agencies have the power to change that. The News 4i team's Mariah Medina looked at the local data, revealing just how many officers lack the tools and the training that experts say can help to save lives. The rifle's ammunition capacity, as well as its accuracy at long distances, ability to penetrate armor, and its accessibility make it one of the greatest dangers to law enforcement. But experts say those same properties make it one of the greatest life-saving tools that they can have in their toolbox. The, the people we're facing now, the, the criminal element, is far better equipped too. And so uh, I guess we're both in an arms race, as it were. John Farnham and, uh, is a three-time Purple Heart recipient, uh, Colorado Sheriff's deputy, and firearms tactics instructor. He says a handgun's limited ammunition capacity and diminished accuracy at a distance can place officers and the public in danger, especially in critical incidents. That rifle ought to be in every beat car. Every patrol officer needs to have a rifle, needs to be trained to use it. Just like all the other equipment we have, there's the, in this day and age, uh, in our age of terrorism, to do less, I think, is a, a, a dereliction. The Texas Department of Public Safety and the Bear County Sheriff's Office train and equip all of their patrol officers with rifles. The San Antonio Police Department, however, doesn't. With regard to a rifle, it's one of those tools where I would rather they have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. The Department of Justice in its review of the Robb Elementary School shooting highlighted how an Allen police officer armed with a rifle single-handedly stopped a mass shooting at a shopping center. The officer taking aim at the gunman at a distance, striking him. And here at home... He's got an AR! He's got an AR! He's got an AR! He's got a rifle! He's got a rifle. Minutes after officers took gunfire from this suspect armed with a rifle, another officer armed with a rifle was able to stop the threat from a distance, firing a single round that struck the suspect. <laughs> SAPD allows officers to purchase and carry their personally owned rifles and has some rifles available to patrol officers. A review of thousands of pages of SAPD training records showed approximately 30% of the department had the 40-hour training required to carry a rifle on duty. And those that do carry their personally owned rifles on duty run the risk of it being seized as evidence indefinitely if they ever have to use it. Nowadays, with the, with the critical incidents that we're dealing with and the, the mass shootings, every officer should have that tool in their toolbox. Willie Ng is a former San Antonio police officer and teaches graduate classes on law enforcement at UIW. He says officers not having the tool or training is a significant risk to public safety and that it forces officers to get creative when lives may be on the line. If they had to go to surgery if a doctor and they asked the doctor, do you have everything do you need to provide, provide this surgery procedure? And the doctor said, no, I don't. I have some stuff and we'll wing it. They wouldn't do that, right? They'd go shop for another doctor. But yet the same people that are making that statement, they would not go to that physician or telling these officers, work with what you have. And we did ask the San Antonio Police Department for an interview about whether the tools officers have are sufficient to respond to the dangers and demands of the job. They declined to provide an interview. For the News 4 ITM, I'm Mariah Medina. Do you have a story that you'd like the News 4i team to look into? If so, you can call the News 4i team tip line. That number is 210-476-1070. Or you can send an email to iteam at news4sa.com.